guys, welcome back to Chef Monica's Kitchen. Today and for the next couple of days, we are going to discuss the perfection of the potato. If anybody's watched any of the, the Martian, Space Force, any of those like colonizing other planet movies slash shows, they always grow potatoes to eat. That tells me something. It's a perfect, perfect food. Okay, so today we're making roasted garlic mashed potatoes because how can anything be wrong with mashed potatoes, right? But first I want to show you how to roast garlic. To me, there's nothing better than a head of roasted garlic and a piece of crusty bread. You can squish all that like yummy caramelized garlic onto the bread and eat it just like it is. You'll have foul breath for like three days, but who the hell cares because it's so damn good. And if your husband or, or other partner, whatever, eats it as well, it's all good. So we're gonna go ahead and take our garlic. I did sort of peel off as much of that exterior sort of paper as I could. And I'm just gonna drizzle with a tiny bit of olive oil. <laughs> tiny bit, a big bit. And then we're gonna seal this up tightly to kind of create steam in there. And then the natural sugars in here will start to caramelize and soften and sweeten and as that roasts by the time it comes out it has this like unctuous nutty sweet viscous garlicky amazingness this goes in the oven 375 degrees for about 45 minutes and then we'll check back so we've come to the potato portion of our mashed potatoes um, quick reminder i know we've discussed this before about waxy versus starchy potatoes this is the opportunity for your good starchy potatoes. So I'm using a russet potato. You could use an Idaho, a Kennebec. There are several different types of starchy potatoes. Those potatoes, when they cook, tend to fall apart really easily, which means when you mash them, they get nice and creamy instead of gummy like the waxy potatoes do. Yukon Golds can kind of go either way, but they tend to be a little gummier as well because they're more of a waxy potato. Peeled the potatoes. You can cut them up into smaller pieces if you want to um, speed up the cooking process, but you don't have to, as long as they're all about uniform in size. And you wanna cover them with cold water, not hot water. Why? Because if you cover them with hot water, you instantaneously start to release the starch from the potatoes, and that will also make your final product too gummy. So cold water, put it on the stove top, bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and then cook them for approximately 30 minutes until they're nice and tender, and then we'll mash them together with our garlic. So I just pulled the roasted garlic out of the oven, and again, I wish I had some olive vision, but there you can see in this little packet there, I'm trying to pull out one with my asbestos fingers and see if I can show you what it looks like. It is very hot, so be careful. Oops. But So each one of these little cloves inside is basically like a garlic paste. See that? So we're gonna squeeze all that delicious garlic paste into the potatoes when they're done and mash them in for the world's greatest roasted garlic mashed potato. So as you can see, our potatoes have been cooked and I drained off any of the excess water. I took out all that delicious garlic. Now we're gonna take all of that and put it in with the potatoes even though I kind of just like to eat those with a spoon. Yummy. Okay, come out. Come out, come out wherever we are. And then some fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of salt. Again, we need to have our good quality, yummy, rich Kerrygold butter or any other good quality butter. And yes, I'm using a whole stick of butter for four potatoes. So sue me. A little bit of heavy cream, about, mm, I'm gonna say quarter of a cup or so. And then I'm a fan of the old fashioned potato masher that looks like that. I don't like the new kinds that have the little holes because I feel like I can't get through to the potato very well. And then we just wanna mash this up until it's delicious and creamy and you get all that garlic distributed evenly throughout the butter and the potatoes and that cream. That is my friend's best mashed potato 